Hello friends, it is Sunday, April 5th, 2020, and I'm on my ball in my room, and I closed the doors in the back, closed the closet doors so there's no glare, well, less glare, and I turned down the lights a little bit, trying to figure out all this lighting stuff, trying to figure out technology and how to do the best videos, and it's just what it is. <laughs> These are not professional videos. Um, just sharing my heart. Just sharing uh, where I'm at. Some thoughts for the day. Some lessons for the day. A focus for all of you during this very difficult time. During the pandemic. <sighs> so take a deep breath. Wherever you are. Whatever you're doing. Obviously, if you're watching this, then... You're watching this, so. <sighs> nice big inhale, nice big exhale. Get comfortable. Settle into your body. I know I'm doing a lot of that, learning to do a whole lot of settling into my body these days. And it's good. And it's a practice. And that's okay. And some days it's hard. I'm used to being in my head. I've spent a lot of my life up in my head, in my mind. And that's not all bad, but we need a balance. We need mind and body, and we need to live in our bodies, not up in our heads, as I teach all my clients. <laughs> the topic for today is a wonderful analogy that my um, business coach, Mark Silver, um, mention teaches talks about really really great analogy and very fitting for today he talks about the bird of oh shoot is it life <laughs> is it um the bird the bird is i guess us or any anytime we're trying to do something what we have is we're going to have two opposing issues. Well, opposing related. They're related. Everything's related. Okay, so two wings of this bird is hope and fear. So when we're looking at, and, and we need to, we need both. We need to tap into both. We need to utilize both. And by this, what I mean is, what I have been seeing on Facebook, on social media, out there is I'm seeing a split. I'm seeing one camp of people saying, let's be hopeful, let's be optimistic, find the silver lining, find the, find the good in all of this bad, you know, in the pandemic, find, find the, the blessings, the wonderful things. Okay. And then... There's the other people, the other group, who are caught in fear, who are very, very anxious, who are, which is understandable. <laughs> I'm not putting that one down at all. It's very, very normal to be terrified, to be afraid, to be anxious of a life-threatening biological epidemic. So please hear me. I'm not saying it's, it's, it's not unreasonable to be afraid. But some people are very, very focused on the fear. So some people are focused on the hope, let's be positive, and other people are focused on the fear and the terror and are more stuck in collapse and shut down. Now, what Mark Silver teaches is that both are necessary. Both are reasonable. And when we are, now in his context, he's talking about like, building your own business, you know, building your own, um, most of us that, most of the people that work with him have some kind of healing, heart-centered, service-oriented business, lots of healers, therapists, coaches, um, etc. But anybody can be a part of his business community. But most of us are very heart-centered. That's why we're drawn to him. He is a very heart-centered teacher. And what he talks about is when we're doing a new thing, when we're, in our case, when we're building our businesses, we're going to have hope 
and like excitement and oh this will be neat this will be great and we have fear <laughs> there's my attempt at wing they are two wing they're they're the each wing of the same bird the bird is us the bird is our business the bird is our existence at this moment and we will have hope and fear hope and fear the key is balance <laughs> I'm amusing myself with my little bird <laughs> oh here we go except that's like a butterfly oh butterfly butterfly hug butterfly hug I'm a little bit squirrel today not so much um, or bird. Let's see. Imagine it's a bird. Okay. Two wings. Hope and fear. Hope and fear. <sighs> I think the most important thing we can do is to seek a balance. I know that is what I am moving into. You know, the first two or three weeks of this whole pandemic, I had lots of anxiety going on. Lots of fear. And then about a week or so, about a week ago, I got very much into collapse. I was very shut down, kind of the overwhelm of all that fear and all that anxiety. And over this past week, I have begun to come out of the collapse. And I think I'm getting, I think I'm hitting a better balance for myself. Now, this is an ongoing process. I am not always in balance. Um, I'm not always in a good place. So please don't expect that of yourself. Please, please, please. And this continues to be a time of we need, we need tremendous self-compassion. This is a time unlike any of us have ever known or experienced. <sighs> a lot of deep breaths, a lot of slowing down, a lot of checking in with yourself. <sighs> but I want to introduce this idea of, of both. Of both. This is not a time for either or. This is not a time of, oh, just be positive. Just, you know, just be hopeful. N no, because that ignores the reality of fear. And fear is not always a bad thing. Fear keeps us from doing stupid, dangerous things in many cases. Fear is a survival instinct. Fear allows us to sense and know when something's dangerous, if we'll listen, if we're tuned into ourselves. Now, many of us struggle with that. Many of us struggle with being able to tune into our bodies, being able to tune into our instincts, our gut feelings, or we know them or we recognize them but then we don't respect them or act on them so it's it's tricky it's tricky it takes a lot of practice but to say don't be afraid i don't care for that <laughs> because it ignores the reality of where so many of us are at some point i'm not saying we should stay terrified that's not good either but to try to just make it go away no no we need to go through the emotion we need to go through the feeling which is why i reposted me reading the book the going going on a bear hunt because that little children's book talks about when you're going on the bear hunt you got to go through all the obstacles that's a delightful story so check out my youtube channel for going on the bear hunt um i did a video of that some months ago and it's marvelous and it's much fun we must go through things and what we are ultimate i believe what we're ultimately seeking is is a balance is a balance the balance for you is what you need in terms of the balance between activity and rest the balance between doing and being the balance between um socializing and time to yourself it's going to be different for everybody a really big key of all of this i believe now more than ever is to go within and contemplation 
and why not? We're at home. Hopefully we're staying home to slow the spread of COVID-19 and the coronavirus. Many of us have a lot more time on our hands. Many of us, our usual things to do, our usual ways of distracting ourselves are no longer available. So this is a, this is a golden opportunity to go within. This is a golden opportunity to explore some thoughts, ideas, spiritual paths, um, intellectual interests, etc. that you haven't before or didn't feel like you had the time. I know for myself, I am being very drawn to something that goes hand in hand with human design called Gene Keys. And it's like, wow. So I have my new thing to be obsessed about. <laughs> Um, which I need. My mind needs something to do. So here we go. I have found myself something productive to do in these days. And whatever you're doing to get through, it's enough. It's okay. It's okay. Get the support that you need. Reach out. We are physically distancing. We do not need to emotionally or socially distance. Use social media, use technology, use your resources. Reach out to your friends, family, um, any networks that you have, please. This is not a time, yes, we're, and I hate how we're using these terms, we're isolating, self-isolation, and they call it social distancing. No, it's physical distancing. We do not need to be isolated. Yes, we are, okay physically isolated. We do not need to be socially and emotionally isolated. <laughs> not thanks to technology. Here I am chatting with all of you. And there's Zoom and there's Facebook Live and there's FaceTime and there's lots of ways to connect with others. <sighs> okay, I didn't think I was going to go there. But the idea of hope and fear, two wings, Two wings on the bird. Both are understandable. You just don't want one becoming huge because otherwise the bird doesn't fly. I mean, that's the point. The point of balance is like if all you're focused on is hope and positivity, it, you're flying, you're gonna fly in circles. If all you do is, is focus on fear, you're flying in circle the other way. In order for the bird to fly straight, to a location, both wings have to be equally strong, equally capable. So it's about balance. Okay, there's my message for today. Balance, two wings of the bird, hope and fear. Both are okay. All feelings are okay. Work on finding a balance. It will help. Until next time.